Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. In this video, we are going to learn about the Locator API more in detail. Already, I have uh, done a video like how to use the Locator API and the difference between Locator API and the uh, element handle. But I think that's more of like theoretical and I think I should give you a real-time use case where we should understand like the benefit of Locator API. It's really good. Uh, I got a use case and I'm going to give you the demo. Let's get started now. So it's going to be very easy. It's not that much easy. I mean complicated to understand. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a simple use case scenario. Here. So I'm going to log into this source uh, swag labs uh, website. Okay. So with this username and password, you can see it here itself. So I'm going to do the login and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this drop down and I'm going to give like low to high first. And then I will just print this. Of course, you can write expect, but just to show demo, I will write the sysout statement, console log statement. Okay. Then again, I will change this to like price high to low. So here the data will change and we'll get this. If you try to do the same without any weights in Selenium, you will end up with stale element reference or maybe like element click interception. Okay. But in Playwright, of course, we don't have to worry about the weights. It can automatically handle, right? But there is something we should know. Let me show you. So I have a very simple test script here for login, right? So this is basically just navigating to the site and I'm using locator here, but I will show you, okay? And here I'm typing the username and then uh, password and clicking on the login, okay? Then after that, I'm going to select the drop down, right? So let's go and inspect this one. So it will be like initially A to Z first. And this is within the select class. So we know that this is a drop down and also we know like how to handle the drop down, right? So I'm going to use this value, okay? So before that, of course, I have to find this one. Uh, so let's go to latex path. I'm just lazy to write this. So I'm using the extension, okay? So here we have like unique class with the tag name. So I'm just going to click on that just to copy, okay? Now here, what I'll do, I will first use the element handle. Then I'll show you like the difference between element handle and the locator, okay? So here I'm going to say like const and maybe like price uh, select something like this equal to uh, we have to say await page dot element handle and then i'm going to give this value okay now based on this i can say like await and then i can say like price select dot select option and within this i'm going to give option um, sorry it should be value and then it should be the string value like this one so first we'll select low to high okay i'm just going to copy and replace here okay that's it Next, what we are going to do, once I select this low to high, of course, the page is going to render and we'll get something new here, right? So if I go and inspect this, here it's basically, uh, I don't think we have a unique locator. So what I will do, I will take from the parent, okay? So here I will say like uh, this ID and then from here, I have to travel to this div basically. So here we can see like we have a class with this one. So I'll just copy and I'll say like div dot this one okay so basically we are using the css and then i'll say like a and then followed by d okay so this is the locator but here you can see that we have like six locator but anyway it's going to take the first one very first matching element so i'm just going to copy that okay so here i'll say like await uh, page dot element handle and within this i will give my locator and i will store that as a const uh, maybe like first product something like that any any naming is fine okay and then I will just receive the text content. Okay, so I'm going to log it directly. Await, and I'll say like first product uh, dot text content. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so we are pretty much done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to again select this right. So again select and change to high to low. Since already we have this locator like price this uh, already we have this locator right. So I'm going to reuse which we try to do in selenium it will not work for sure you can try it and you can do let me know in the comments okay and here i'm going to change this to the value called uh high low i mean high to low okay so i'll replace this then again what i'll do i will try to again uh just print okay because the page is going to refresh so if you watch carefully whenever i do some changes here the dom is getting reflected it's rendering internally right 
the page is not refreshing if if the page is going to refresh then we don't have any problem even if it's selenium or playwright of course we don't have any problem but page is not getting re rendered only the dom is getting rendered okay so what i did is basically i found the element only once and i'm trying to refresh i mean reuse even though the page is getting rendered okay let's see whether it's going to work or not so if i go to my playwright config file here already i have this locators in detail uh, that is the file name okay i'm going to bring up my terminal and i'm going to say npm test let's see what happens writing code is actually very easy to give the demonstration it's very easy but finding the use case is really tough sometimes okay so here you can see that our test got failed and the failure reason if i go up you can see like element is not attached to the dom okay why we are getting this in the sense like as i told earlier whenever we change the uh, drop down right so if i go back to my console you can see we are able to get the first value that is like when the price is uh, low to high here we can see like saw slab point c something like that so here we can see that but after that uh, this is basically from this line number right now i am again trying to use reuse the same drop down uh, with high to low okay so page is getting rendered and playwright is not able to find it it's same with the selenium also if you try to do the same you will end up with like stale element reference okay now instead of element handle i'm going to change this to the uh, locator api let's see what happens okay so i'm going to change this to locator and here also i'm going to change this to locator and that's it and await is not required because uh, locator api doesn't work based on the async await is basically just a function which return the locator okay but one thing we have to remember whenever we use this locator by default it is straight straight in the sense like uh, it will give us the locator if there is only one if it's multiple locator of course it will fail and we know that this locator right this locator basically we have like around six so it will fail but of course as i said in our locator api itself we can use the same function to use to find multiple locators so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say like dot first that means even though there are multiple matches i'm going to take the first one okay and i can just copy this guy and simply replace here and i don't have to check for the uh, null value because locator doesn't work in that way okay that's it no code changes anymore so instead of element handle i have uh, used the locator api right now let me go to this uh, terminal and let me run once again now you will see the magic and i hope this will make you understand the necessity of locator api and i think this is a very good example and also this is a very good implementation from the playwright team so definitely playwright is the best as i said earlier there are a lot of things which i want to make tutorials but finding the use case for each and every scenario it's getting little tough okay and here you can see we are getting this first value that is from uh, low to high if i change this to high to low here you can see like saw slab fleece jacket right so we are able to see that as well okay so what is the understanding here when we use the locator api basically it will try to refine the element but when you use the element handle if the dom is getting rendered it won't refresh rather it will try to reuse the value that already we have but since there is a render in the dom it will not be there right so it says like element is not attached to the dom but whenever we use the locator even though the dom is getting refreshed it will try to refine it again so that is the reason we are able to get it okay so i hope this makes sense and i believe you got a really good idea how to use the locator api so moving forward in our all our tutorials i'm going to use the locator api not the element handle maybe sometimes if it's based on the use case if you know right know like uh when we do some changes it's going to affect your dom then definitely you should go with the locator api okay so that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed this and you understand the difference between element, element handle and the locator and uh, that's it see you in the next one very soon Tada, bye bye take care and of course if you like the video you know what to do Tada, bye bye